All right, Trevor, tonight's the night. Let's have sex. I am so ready. I'm on birth control. You have a condom. There is plan B on the nightstand, and I just started my period. I am so ready. What? What do you mean you don't feel like having sex anymore? Man, the fear of getting pregnant is a buzzkill, isn't it? Well, that's why I'm here, to make sure you feel comfortable about getting some lovin' without a bun in the oven. Seven outrageous pregnancy myths busted. Myth one, you can only get pregnant from a penis. And I can only get an orgasm from a penis. Psh, yeah, right. The sperm from a guy's disco stick can swim pretty much anywhere the semen takes it. So if he got semen near your vagina and then continued to touch you down there with his hands, he might accidentally transfer that semen inside your vagina. But having an orgasm is fun. So if he comes, don't feel like his sperm is doing this. Donna. Donna, 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 Donna. Not really. Instead, just hit the pause button and wash up with a little soap and water. Then you can hit another button when he gets back, if you get what I'm saying. Myth two, you can get pregnant while dry humping. If that were the case, no one would dry hump. Why spend all that wasted time with uncomfortable gene friction and suppressed boners if you're gonna get pregnant anyway? Semen traveling through clothing would be like a cat trying to run through a saran wrap door. <laughs> exactly. It's impossible. Myth three, you can't get pregnant if the semen isn't inside your vagina. Semen is not like a goldfish. It doesn't just gasp for air and then die the second it leaves the penis. Semen can live in the air for hours, meaning if it lands anywhere near your vagina, those little sperm fish can still swim inside it and find your coveted egg. And to all those who direct their men towards the landfill as opposed to the playground, reality check, Anal sex is dangerous waters for getting pregnant too. So if you don't have a condom or aren't on birth control, it's a safer bet to have them finish literally anywhere but in your southern hemisphere. Myth four, you can't get pregnant if he pulls out. You know how if you start talking about a steak that's juicy, delicious, tender, melts in your mouth, you start drooling. Before drool just drips out of your mouth, it forms on your tongue inside your mouth. Let's call that pre-drool. That same idea happens for a guy. Even though he hasn't yet had an orgasm, there's such a thing as pre-cum or pre-ejaculation. It's a small amount of fluid that comes out of his penis when he's aroused, and it's totally possible that it contains sperm. So even if it's by accident, a guy can definitely leave sperm in your vagina before he orgasms. Always remember, girls, girls rule, boys penis drool. Myth five, birth control isn't a daily necessity. Neither is eating, or oxygen, or Netflix. Oh my God, but seriously, who can live a day without Netflix? Even if you forget to take your pill for one day, you're totally at risk for getting pregnant. I mean, it all depends on what kind of birth control you're taking and where you are in your cycle, but still. Six, you can get pregnant from oral sex. A lot of young girls worry that if they swallow semen, they'll somehow get pregnant. When I was in kindergarten, I worried that if I swallowed a sunflower seed, a full sunflower would grow up my throat and out of my mouth. But I also thought Santa was real and that my dog was a Ukrainian princess. So yeah, the idea that my body would become a sunflower garden sounds crazy now, but it can really freak you out if you don't know. So rest assured, no sperm can make its way through your digestive digestive tract and into your uterus. Otherwise you find like bubble gum and fingernails and potato chip crumbles in there too. Did I say fingernails? <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Myth seven, you can't get pregnant on birth control. Birth control is controlling birth, not preventing birth. The pill, the rings, the IUDs, all of those can be up to 99% effective, but never 100%. Not to mention birth control does not prevent STDs or STIs. Birth control is one large step for women, but the condom is truly one giant leap for womankind. Take the leap, ladies. <laughs> Let me rephrase, take a smart leap. Whether you just wanted to double check or whether you're finding out for the first time, you now know seven myths about getting pregnant. That's right, I've impregnated your mind.
To check out more myths I've busted, click the video on your left to see six ridiculous myths about your period. And click the video on your right to find out seven silly acne myths. Have you ever dispelled a pregnancy myth on your own? Or have you proved my myths wrong? Continue the convo in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel for more body-telling truth. I'm Cheyenne, and you're on Girl.com.